TDX best grind strat. All right, so this is what I searched up and I'm getting all of these options. This one has 87,000 views. Let's go see how good this is. 450 gold in uh, 19, basically 20 minutes. That'll give us about 1,350 coins per hour. But from the thumbnails that I'm seeing here, I'm already seeing better. Like, look at this, 2,000 XP, uh, sorry, 2,000 gold per second. This one's 3,000. Then there's my video, which you should definitely watch, how I be expert mode. Here's 3,000 gold again, 2.6K, 1.3K. Let me just scroll down if I can see anything better than... Uh, um, the 3k coins. This one is, uh, 3.7k gold. Okay, I mean, let's just have this video saved here just in case. Okay, well, these two videos are both over 3,000 gold per hour, except they, uh, well, let me just go into full screen here. Do you see that down there? They kind of need the, the stuff, the best stuff in the game already, so I don't know why you'd be using those grinding strategies. Oh, wow, look, this one needs some pretty basic towers, and it's, uh, what, 2,050 gold per hour? This one says it's, um, 2,000, what, 600? But it needs Juggernaut, so let's get this out of here. I guess that leaves us with this. Well, let's go test it out. Oh, wait, look what I found. This one, you can apparently get uh, 4K gold an hour or 3K gold an hour abusing uh, Sky Islands. This video was actually made before Sky Islands was nerfed, so I think Sky Islands is just worse now for grinding. But hey, I'm still going to test it out. We're going to compare, you know, find find which strat is better. That's the point of this video. Okay, here we go. Here's our first strat. Now, DJ, I would bet, is probably not even needed. It definitely probably makes it a lot easier, but I would still assume you you don't need it because well just by looking at this loadout i can tell that this is strong enough because this is for intermediate mode it's played on a hard map so you get a 25 percent bonus and um it's done without a speed boost now everybody in solo gets a speed boost now everybody can have this game pass uh because well everybody can just afford it by the way i gotta start off with a patrol boat but of course we're counting values without the game pass since you know not not everybody's gonna have it okay we put our patrol boat here uh it should be able to see here uh presuming we got a skip what the doc says to do is to upgrade our patrol boat so that's what i'm gonna do i mean looking at this you probably don't even need to, to upgrade the patrol boat but eh might as well. Actually, it gives some pretty pretty nice range, so you can see all the way around here. Actually, I messed up. The first boat was supposed to go here, but like, eh, whatever. Nobody's going to be perfect when playing this strategy anyways, so if the strat makers are good, uh, they should have accounted for that. Let's, yeah, place down a farm upgraded to 2-0, because that's what we had to do. And now it wants me to get another patrol boat. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Well, yeah, this is what happens when you put your patrol boat in the wrong spot. It can't see up there. Uh, well, what do we got to do next? I don't know. Upgrade the farm to 2-1. I got this. We're supposed to also be able to get another farm down, but these patrol boats really aren't cooking, so I'm just, uh, well, like, I'm just gonna upgrade this farm. Also, I gotta upgrade this other patrol boat, so let's hopefully get the money for that. There we go. I afforded it, and, uh, wow. <laughs> This damage is fantastic. And then I was supposed to upgrade the other farm, but there's no other farm because I didn't have time to place that. So let me just get down like two farms real quick and upgrade them. Eh, it's fine. I don't even have to like worry about anything. Oh, I'm forgetting to skip. Let's just, yeah, skip real quick. Come on, drop that, drop that, drop that. Oh my God, I got the upgrade. Stealth Thresh next wave. I'll have it covered. Yeah, I honestly probably don't even need to look at the strat doc. Because, uh, well, I already know how this game is played. I went ahead and over-farmed here because I know that I'm going to get enough money and it'll be all fine. Now, where do they want me to put my operator? Like, right here? Well, let's do that then. I think I'll have enough money and, yeah, I, I will to get this. <laughs> this round's easy enough. I'm going to skip it. Probably get another farm down because, I mean, uh, if the strat makers don't want me to get a farm down, then they're stupid because I could be making money. At this moment, I'm reading the dock and it's just a mess. Honestly, like, uh... It, 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 yeah, I, I'm gonna just play however I want to play. What is this? A grenadier? Let me upgrade something for that. Uh, probably attack boat. Yeah, that'll get some splash damage done. Let's make it fire faster as well. Also, this patrol boat is supposed to be explosive, but I'm not even seeing it. So uh, I'm just gonna assume that it is what it is, and I'm gonna keep playing here. This means that the armored threats that are about to come out uh, should just be straight up blown up by this guy. By the way, I'm using patrol boat after the buff. Like this, this guy made a video. Uh, before this patrol boat was even as good as it is. So yeah, this, the, oh wow, it's just too good now. What's on this round? Wave 16. I probably want to, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. It's just a lot of stuff on this round. Maybe flame boat? Yeah, probably want to get the flamethrower boat. Let me just skip here until I can afford it. What's on the next round, by the way? Is it anything difficult? It's a super heavy zombie. Yeah, that, 
that's that's pretty easy come on the money's almost there and i got it let me just set it on random uh and probably just farm more yeah this flame boat is just something else uh, oh yeah, i should upgrade it just so we get more out of it yeah let's skip again i got this under control uh i should be probably like oh yeah getting more farms what is this i'm struggling this trap probably wanted me to do something about that but i'm not doing anything about that this is so goofy i'm not i'm not even like paying attention to it anymore i mean i i, I actually can't believe that just happened i can't believe i got i got trolled like that uh so this round i'm assuming i need a monitor i don't have enough for it uh eh, let's upgrade this to dual guns that should do the job right let's skip the wave why am i not skipping i'm slow oh yeah this boat is this boat's like going hard what the heck i don't even know what they want me to do anymore i guess so long as i keep skipping and and surviving that that means i'm doing just fine apparently i don't need to place a dj until like wave 25 so uh, i guess that's what i'll be doing I'm going to just skip here and not farm for a bit so I can uh, get uh, Hellfire Missiles, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I definitely could have afforded some farm upgrade, but uh, who needs a farm upgrade when you have Hellfire Missiles? Oh, there's camo stuff on this round. Um, a ghost, perhaps? Yeah, a ghost should do the trick. Let's just keep skipping. <laughs> I don't even pay attention to, to the strategy I'm supposed to be testing. I mean, okay, it'll still be just as fast because i'm still skipping all the waves like this strategy isn't full spawn killing and that charger boss was no issue yeah oh my god hellfire missiles is just way too good i don't even think i need flame tanks also i'm gonna keep maxing my farms here because i'm absolutely rich smasher and shocker is detected honestly this is just such a good investment let me set this on last to kind of kill that thing real quick uh because i don't want those shockers to be annoying oh never well there will be annoying because well because they will Oh yeah, why am I not skipping SMH? I'm, I'm going slower than I should be. Let me get a DJ uh, here. I don't think that's where I'm supposed to get it, but that's where I got it anyway, so deal with it. I also got a bottom path uh, operator, which I wasn't supposed to get either, but uh, deal with it. Also, let's upgrade the boat. Let's upgrade a f uh, the rest of my farms here. Let's spawn a car. Yeah, I completely forgot. I, I literally have a car. Why don't I use it? Uh, let me get flame tanks real quick because flame tanks is just goaded like that. Let's skip this round. I'm alive, right? Yep, I'm perfectly fine, actually. Get some more uh, ghosts out here, because I think that's going to be how we kill off the uh, predator, right? I'm actually going to do a, a pro play and place a patrol boat right here. I'm going to max it out and then get a DJ for these two patrol boats. There we go. And now we get an even stronger patrol boat. And I forgot, we need to be placing rangers everywhere. This is definitely predator. If I've ever seen him, I should just skip him, right? Let's hope my... Uh, Flame tanks don't die. Also, um, we have two Hellfire missiles. Let's get some more operators. Actually, I need a, uh, another DJ. Hold up. Let me spam down a few towers first. Okay, let's get some more operators. Let's skip this wave. My flame tanks is non-existent. Wait, bait rangers, bait rangers. I don't think he killed anything important. Now, how do they want me to kill Eradicator? We spam 5-2 operators, uh, I believe. Okay, um, I'll do that skip this round yeah flame tanks just absolutely like carries anything that's like uh unstealth let me pull a big brain play so dj uh dj now how far can this see uh like right here maybe yep that sees uh are we fine yep here's boat number one here's boat number two and then believe it or not can this can this reach boat Number three, yes, we're getting full map range with these boats. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. This this strategy is actually kind of it's kind of fun. Granted, you do have to be quick. Like if you're slow, uh, well, have fun. I think I could just skip onto the last wave, spam down a couple more bait rangers, and uh, should be completely fine. Let's max this out. Let's use our DJ ability right here. Speed up our boats. Sell my farms because uh, well, I actually just sold them early. And now let's spam down some bottom path uh, operators. You know, get in some cars. Would you look at that? <laughs> the Eradicator is almost halfway done. He killed my flank tanks. How dare he? He also stopped all the cars. I did not know he did that. Let's spawn in a bunch more cars. Come on, go, go. <laughs> Look at this. Get another boat. I want another boat. I got it at a bad time. But there you go. That's Eradicator. Are you kidding me, bro? Just like, come on. A few more shots. There we go. That's Eradicator dead. And we did it in 14 minutes. So you can do this at least 
four times in uh, an hour, which actually does equate to over 2,000 gold. Now, here's the second strategy. This one is supposedly a lot better because it can get you up to 3k uh, gold per hour, which is like a thousand more than last time. But Skylands did get a nerf, so maybe we won't see the best results. We're gonna have to try. This one also can be elite mode, so if you need the badge, I mean, if you have DJ, you probably already have the badge. But yeah, here it is, Ancient Skyland. Let's go in and let's go see how good this does. All right, here we go. Let's begin. Um, so the shotgunner, we're going to want it right here. And we're going to want a 2-2 two -two shotgunner. Uh, let's see, what do we upgrade? Probably just both of these. Okay, well, the shotgunner kills off some of the enemies, not all of them. That's fine because it's here. So <laughs> when the enemies come around, it'll get them. Now just one shots them. So they, yeah, th this is awesome. Well, there you go. I got it. Okay, now the, the plan is to place down our barracks. I wasn't skipping, uh, so let's just, like, keep in mind that 10 seconds more on whatever we get, it's it, it's a it's a thing. And yeah, here comes our scout. Yep, <laughs> barracks just absolutely cheeses the game really hard. Like, people have found ways to be expert mode as fast as elite mode just because of barracks. Now, of course, this is uh, all thanks to Sky Islands, just because Sky Islands is, is just it's stupidly easy but all right now we got to work on one barracks to four two so i don't exactly know the order of upgrades but i'm gonna guess it's upgrading the scouts first and then going for bottom path actually i'm gonna assume it's riflemen because riflemen are just goaded oh and look at the shotgunner go yeah when it fires down a straight line it's just it, it's just a fantastic thing oh and would you look at this the stuff in the middle is building up so uh all these chains are just gonna get demolished Oh, yikes, we don't have stealth detection. Uh, well, I mean, the shotgunner does help out take out some of the stealths. Uh, thanks to its splash damage. And also, here's assault class. Uh, I don't even know at what point it gets stealth. I mean, it looks at, like, spec ops. Just look at it. And on to surround our stealth mutated zombies, which I can't kill, but I'm gonna get, get spec ops pretty soon, so that'll be fine. And these level 3 scouts are... They, yeah, they're just gonna <laughs> handle everything. Okay, come on, there we go. I got spec ops now. I just need to get bottom path. And there you go, got it. Now, Spec Ops, yeah, they're just, they're, they're, they kind of shred. I need to get some bottom path uh, barracks now. I think two of them upgraded to the M202 Trooper. And yeah, barracks is just, it's such a wonderful map. What the heck am I saying? I'm at Ancient Skylands. It's such a wonderful map for barracks, because just look at it. Oh, there goes my stuff. What the heck, bro? What the heck is this power? Well, there we go. Now what do I get? Um... Another 4-2. Okay, I got this. It's a knight on this. Look how fast it's dying. You can definitely cheese expert mode with this. Like, well, uh, let me rephrase that. You can definitely be expert mode, except it'll be on Sky Islands. And the thing is, now that Sky Islands is nerfed, well, we're, we're going to see. Oh, at this point, we just start working on MRL. <laughs> well, let, let's, let's do that, I guess. Wait, I did the strategy run. Hold up. Okay, so what you were supposed to do is actually just start upgrading these barracks. So two max bottom path barracks, and then these two max top path barracks. And now look at this. We're just flaming everything. I was also skipping better. And yes, I did use my speed to get back here, but that should be fine because, uh, well, it won't affect the final time. Now here I need to get an MRL and presumably it is for, for all of this. And by the looks of it, I mean, no problem. There you go. There it is. Look at this wall of fire. That is really satisfying. Let me get my second MRL real quick. Can we actually survive this though? I think we'll be able to just because of the MRLs and the pyros. Oh, it's going to be a little close. Some stuff's going to die. Here come more pyros. Uh, am I going to be fine? Oh no, I just straight up die again. And this time I did everything right though, because I mean, I upgraded my barracks. I got my MRL. I was working on the second one. And maybe you can't skip all the waves. But yeah, it's this method that was supposed to be making you 3,000 gold an hour. Now that you're making 35% less on Ancient Skylands, let me just do some quick math for you. This will actually make you less than 2,000. So yes, the initial strategy that I showed is easier and it gives more gold. There's also faster grinding strats with stuff like this that need Juggernaut, but I'm not going to cover those because most people that want to grind are grinding for the Juggernaut and stuff. So yeah, hopefully this helped. Like, subscribe, use star code E, and I'll see you in the next video.